So here at CES 2014, uh, so you have a huge e-ink book booth here. And what yes, are you showing? we do. We do. So this is our first year at CES 2014. Um, we're really excited to have our booth here. Um, and what I'm holding up right now is one of our newer products. This is a Sony prototyping paper product. Um, it is a 13.3 inch Mobius display, which is one of our flexible displays. What's really nice about this is it's a full A4 sized display. It has touch. Nice. And you're able to make notes. And then you can save the document and then send it back to your computer. You can select text also. You can also select text. Oops, I am in writing mode at the moment, but you are also able to select text, highlight, make your notes, save it, and then send it back to your computer. Can I try with the pen? Sure. And uh, so here you have some, uh, like this, we also. So it's just saved it for you? Yeah. Those are your different tabs that are open right now. So this is only in Japan for now? Right now it's only in Japan. It's um, being tested mostly in universities and business. They did put it online, available for sale for about $1,000, and they've sold out their first production run. All right. And here's a whole bunch of uh, e-ink on watches. Yes, so we um, are showing a number of different things this year. We have some of the more traditional watches, such as these, which are um, a simple segment of display that is showing traditional features like time, date, stopwatch, etc. Um, we're also showing off some of the very high resolution displays that are in watches. This is a 300 dpi watch that's available from Seiko in a limited run production. So. It's really nice looking. Uh, Seiko is a huge company. Yeah, they did this as a, a very sort of niche product. They did like a couple thousand of them and they were quite expensive. Um, but it's a really neat product. Um, as you can see, it's world time. It shows you a little place on the map. And it's also got solar cells here on the side. Really? Yep, so, so that, that it charges as you're on the road. It never needs to change the battery? No. Never need to reach, like never need? No. Forever? Last as forever. far as I know, we've had this watch. It's kind of like an automatic. Time. Yes. <laughs> nice. Cool. And uh, so, uh, this is also a smartwatch? Yeah, so this watch is by Sonostar here. Um, so, I believe this watch is going to be available um, in August for about 179 US. Um, as you can see, it's a very high resolution display here. But then it also has the regular functionality that you would expect in a smartwatch. You're able to, um, with the touch screen, select the here we go. Yeah. items that you want, go in and change. Um, but in addition, it functions with your Android device. So if you get a phone call, it pops up on your screen. If you get an email, you can look at it on your screen. Nice. Tweets, etc. So this uh, is coming out soon, no? Yeah, so it should be out this summer. Um, you can learn more at Sonostar's website. They've got a great video that shows you all of the functionality of this watch. Nice. This is awesome. A Bluetooth functionality, Android, iOS maybe. Yes. Yep. And so the future of uh, uh, e-ink on watches is it's smart, bright. outdoors. It's smart, it's bright, it's sunlight readable, and it's high res. Lots of smart watches coming? Um, what do you think? Well, Sonosaur is our first customer that we've launched with. Um, we are expecting to be, hopefully, launching with some new customers that I really can't talk about. Um, but smartwatches is a pretty hot category here at CES, so we're really excited to show this off. Because when people use LCD, there's only one or two days battery. With the uh, e-ink? If you're lucky. <laughs> if you're lucky. This one lasts um, about four to seven days right now um, in this configuration. Because it software. has lots of Bluetooth stuff going on exactly. that's using all because the power. Exactly, because your connectivity. So the more you use it, the more battery you're using, the less you use it, the less Potentially, you can make smart watches with two, three, four weeks battery, maybe. It depends you how you make them, right? Especially as the technology improves and you um, make some uh, adjustments in your software and you're able to get some efficiencies. Nice. And what is this? So this is a simple kit that we have available for customers that are looking to develop a watch product. Um, it's through one of our partners, Transmark. Um, and they also are showing these um, different types of faces off. So again, you would then be able to go ahead and make your very own watch project. And you can also have crazy projects like uh, Tokyo. Yeah, so this is a great product. This is um, a Tokyo Flash watch. It's called the Rorschach watch. And there is a trick to reading it. Yeah. Let's see, so basically you read the um, upper right, lower left, 
so it's 9.06. Obviously that's not quite the time here in Vegas at the moment, it's a little now. bit off. Awesome. Uh, this is a cool design. So this yeah. is for, for real, this is selling. It's for market. sale right now, it's available on their website Tokyo Flash. All right. And here you have some huge clocks. Yeah, so this is a new product from one of our partners, 1224. They have called it the Clock One, okay? Yeah. So 1224.com. And this is a And this is giant. a Clock One product. It's one meter, one cell battery, which battery, lasts yeah. one year. Right, right now our and it's got this revolutionary magnetic mount here. So it takes one screw, it's got one mount here, right? You take the mount. Clock. See how thin that is? Nice. And it's not heavy. No, it's a super lightweight clock. It's under four. Uh, it's under four pounds. It's about four millimeters thin. Nice. How many colors? Um, right now we're offering. Um, it will come in pink, blue, orange, yellow, and green. Whoa! This is so cool. So. Uh, it's the the black part is the time and the rest can be any lots of colors. Yes, exactly. That's awesome. How do you set the time? Super simple. Push up. Yeah. Or push down. And that's the and minutes. That's it. it does the, if you hold it, it'll scroll through. Nice. That's so awesome. The great thing also is it's 12:24. You can turn it into 24-hour time. You can leave it at 12-hour time. So it's really your choice as to how you want to display your. Time. Cool. All right. Let's walk around. Okay. So here we are showing um, an electronic bike. This one here, um, it's by Faraday Bikes. Um, they're based in San Francisco. And what they wanted to do is create a bicycle that would also give you a power assist. So you can ride it as a regular bike. Or if you're looking for a little bit of a boost going up the hills, you can put it into a different mode here. And you can see an in display that shows you your power. Nice. You got your gears over there. What's up, Ian? Um, nope, just this just, indicator here. So this shows the power. So this shows your power at the different levels that you select. Nice. And the motor is down here. The battery is right in this area. Whoa. And then you have your charging station back here. Whoa. So it will go about 20 miles on a charge. Uh, it takes about two hours to refresh the battery. Got bamboo bumpers, really nice leather seats. So it's a great city bike for people who are commuting fairly short distances and don't want to arrive to work too sweaty. Nice. Let's go over there. Sure. What's on the wall over there? So we've got a couple things that we're showing. Um, let's see, we'll start up at the top. So this sign right up here. Um, this is a, a sign that we're doing with GDS, which is an Italian company. They do transportation signage predominantly through Europe, and we've partnered with them to do um, signage applications for transportation, um, retail, basically anywhere that you want to display information to the public. So it's a public information sign. It's ultra readable. It's ultra readable, and if you want to go over there, you can see how thin it is. It's a pretty thin sign. Nice. So is this uh, still prototype stage or is shipping somewhere? Um, they are, they are working on it now. Um, we will be showing it at a couple more trade shows this year and they are hoping to roll out, um, I believe, later this year. Nice. What's in the wall? Sure. So we've got two different kinds of displays here. Um, this is a really simple segmented display. It's got four millimeter pixels um, and it's basically uh, just a simple way to put information up that is using almost right now these are not even plugged in so it's no power um, so you can you know put an image on it you could put text on it you can put any you know sort of thing that you would arrange with pixels um, and it's really intended again for information what do you want to convey to people around you are those big pixels or these guys are four millimeters but they don't have to be they could be you know, half a millimeter one millimeter you get the picture. They this all be. depends on the driver, what you call it. The Correct. Yep. These yep. are a direct drive, one drive line per pixel. 
Nice. These guys here, however, are very high resolution. This is a 300 DPI display. And again, you can use them for e-reader applications, you can use them for signage applications, you can use them for um, different business applications, you can use them for conference room applications. So again... They are behind some uh, glass here for some reason? Um, it they are mainly because we have found that people have been coming up and poking them and okay. then they get a lot of fingerprints on them. These are easier to clean. All right, let's go over there. So over here, um, we're showing shelf uh, tasks. So we've got a couple different options here. This one here is a black and white display. It's our Aurora technology. Um, what's special about this one is unlike some of our other products, it is uh, low temperature. So you can put it in the freezer um, and still have the display work. Nice. These ones over here are using Spectra. So that is a three pigment system, black, white, and in this case, red although theoretically okay. it could be any color. All right, right. And it gives you a little pop. Uh, and then can I so as a retailer, pop? this gives oh, yeah, you a I'm way of just attracting somebody's attention really quick. The great thing about these products is that instead of having to update a paper tag every single night or every week, instead the retailer can go to their pricing database and real time be able to reflect a pricing change for inventory purposes or for sale purposes. And they're able to actually update their tags way more often with way less resources. And the customer always gets the right price. Nice. And here you are highlighting uh, dual so, mode. Yeah, so this phone. is the Yoda phone here. Um, it is a dual screen LCD on one side, e ink on the other side. The LCD is currently asleep. <laughs> but the benefit of this is that um, we check our cell phones an astronomical amount of times per day. And when you do that, you drain your battery. I've already charged my phone one and a half times today. Um, what you can do with this phone is if you want to read a book, you take the document and you send it to the back of the phone, your LCD will go to sleep and you can actually swipe through your pages on the e-ink side and be able to read your book and not use your battery. Nice. Let's go, uh, let's go over there. Sure. So what's the latest? Because uh, e-ink is really famous for the e-readers. Yeah, there's a lot and, of uh, Which one are you showing here? So what I'm going to show you here is this is the new paper white. So this is using um, our newest uh, ink platform, which is called Carta. It's a 50% increase in the contrast ratio from the prior product, which was called Pearl. And it's also featuring um, a new, what we call waveform, which allows for flashless or reduced flash, essentially, through different pages. Nice. And uh, so that's what's called really You scratch popular. your dictionary function, which is um, very popular for people. And then you can change your font size. And turn, turn off the you front light. You can put your front light up or down. Nice. So cool. Uh, which is this one? So this one is the Tolino Shine. What's kind of nice about this product is that um, Deutsche Telekom has been working with this company Tolino to enable um, smaller bookstores, physical bookstores, to be able to get electronic books in the hands of their customers in Germany. So it's a really nice way for somebody who wants to frequent an independent bookstore to get electronic copies of those books on something, but not be locked into a particular formatting system from one of the big retailers. Oh, and uh, this is the latest one? Um, so um, this one is actually last year's model. Yeah. Um, but Sony has a great device. So what they offer, um, which is not offered in some of these other products, is you can actually move your page around. So it's, it's got some unique functionality to it that some of the other e-readers do not. Cool. That's pretty cool. Uh, the Kobo. Um, and the Kobo is also new. So this is the new Aura. You can see that it actually has a very smooth edge. There's no bezel edge to this. Super cool. 